Today we're going to be talking about how principals can enable their project managers to take on more ownership. And so hand in hand with that, we'll be tackling a few key pieces of how we can enable managers to really thrive along with what that looks like in practice. Since our role as principals is, you know, of course, to make sure that our firm is running smoothly, but one huge piece of that is making sure that, you know, managers have the tools they need to really step up, take on more ownership, and in turn, you know, relieve some stress off of your shoulders. So as we cover how you can set up your project managers for success, we'll also see how this can make things easier for you as a principal as well. When we talk about what makes a successful team, we can actually start with this quote from Pat Summit, who is one of the most well-known women's basketball coaches of all time. And what she says is responsibility equals accountability equals ownership. And a sense of ownership is the most powerful weapon a team or an organization can have. And the reason we're starting with this quote is because during registration, I asked you all one question, which was, what is the biggest positive change that could happen in your organization? And a lot of the responses included things like managers could develop better leadership skills. I need my project managers to take on more ownership, team members self-managing or increasing their accountability. And so here we can see that the importance of taking on ownership, um, and in this case, finding a way to enable this ownership is really universally understood. And as we move forward with this picture of success, again, we'll talk about the role of a project manager as a facilitator of this ownership, and then how we can make sure that once our team has this ownership and has this responsibility, everything gets carried through to you know, project completion in a way that looks great for our clients and also has our team feeling good about the work that they're doing, you know, not working extra hours or feeling stressed out or confused about where their responsibilities lie. And so when we start out by analyzing, you know, what looks like a successful team or more importantly, how can we pass on ownership to our team? The first question that comes to mind is, okay, so what stands in the way of this? And one big reason that it can be hard to give this ownership and additional responsibility is because it can be really scary to feel like you're giving up control. So one big answer to that question is fear. Especially with so much going on, it can feel as though once something leaves your sight, it may get forgotten about. So as we move through the presentation, we'll talk about how we can achieve better transparency in our team and arrive at some conclusions about how to give control with project to project managers without feeling this kind of fear. So as a principal, Let's talk about some more concrete needs. And this is where we move into talking about making sure the needs of the team are met as everybody you know, takes on ownership and responsibility. So as a principal, when your team has full responsibility, accountability, and ownership of what they're doing, we have a few simple needs. And some of these needs include, I need to know that my project manager is keeping all of the balls in the air. For example, when you're working on 20 to 30 projects and you have this many projects under your control, that can mean your team has hundreds of milestones in their hands. And as a principal, all you need to know is that none of these have been missed. You can't do the heavy lifting to make sure, you know, every drawing looks perfect and is submitted on time, but your knowledge that it has been submitted on time is what matters most here. Secondly, you need your team to understand project priorities. As somebody who is the principal communicator between you know, project owners and your team, we see that those priorities are constantly shifting firsthand. And what's most important as a principal is that you can communicate those priorities downward to your team so that your team has the ability to make sure they're working on the right things, especially with so many projects that prioritization is really critical in having a successful workflow. And so your job as a principal becomes communicating those priorities in a way that's easy for everybody to understand and stays consistent across your team so that none of those important milestones get missed. And then finally, visibility of the big picture. And this actually ties into understanding priorities and meeting milestones because what you need at the end of the day is visibility to know that your team is aligned on those milestones and on those priorities. 
And so then what we can see as far as project managers go is that a few of these needs directly relate to the needs of the principal as well. For example, clear milestones. Without having clear milestones defined by principals, project managers will have a hard time making sure their team understands the milestones and meet them. So between project managers and principals, there's a need for a clear understanding of milestones. And when project managers have these clearly defined, it's easy for you as a principal to make sure that none of them are being missed as well. So we can kind of see how they balance each other out. Secondly, an understanding of a team workload so that project managers can delegate accordingly and in a way that helps projects run smoothly. And by this, I don't just mean, you know, assigning a task to somebody who's going to be the best at doing it, but also making sure that deadlines don't interact with each other and that the workload of the team is balanced out in an even way that helps everybody work as effectively as possible. And one of the biggest parts of that is controlling these competing deadlines and understanding, you know, what the principals need and then how that relates to their team workload. And then finally, the ability to track progress. And let's be honest, these principals or these project managers have a ton on their plate. So what we really need to do is set them up for success and help them do a better job as managers so that in turn as principals, we can achieve peace of mind knowing that they have everything they need to succeed. So again, providing them this clear definition of milestones, helping them get a good understanding of team workload, and then laying out a system that allows them to really track progress on the team will help create an information flow that looks something like this.